Hello and welcome to another finals tournament game of Fury of Dracula. I will be playing as the good guys, uh, which I do prefer. And, uh, yeah. That, uh, it seems like I've been playing a lot of Dracula games in a row. The, uh,. Order is all out of order for this video. It's probably months and months uh, for you since the last uh, video came out chronologically, but it's the next day for me because I decided to upload that one eventually, uh, immediately because uh, it involved a bug. I'm very late to this game. Fortunately, I made bugs be wait, uh, which is bad form on my part. Try to show up on time to your games, people, or reschedule them. Uh, don't uh, Don't be like me. But, uh, yeah, uh, so I'll hopefully have more to say because I will be playing as the good guys. I do, I do, uh, very much hate it when, uh, people jokingly refer to bad guys as good guys because it's edgy or fun. There's a really great channel on Rebellion, ooh, Consecrated Ground. Star Wars Rebellion that I watch. And the one thing I don't like about it is that he will jokingly refer to the Empire as the good guys. And I know people do that as a joke, but, like, authoritarian fascism are not the good guys. And it's not funny to say that it is. And in in Dracula, the, the pedophilic serial rapists are not the good guys. I know it's funny to say that it is. For some people find that funny for some reason. But, like, Dracula's not the good guy. And it's not funny or cool to say that he is. Um, anyway, th uh, th thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, in terms of cards that I have drawn... Um, the Consecrated Ground is good. Revealing Excellent Weather isn't bad. We may trade that away, although we'll probably want to get another card on her before we do that, because we don't want to inadvertently give some good information to Dracula. I will lose the pistol. Mm, Bugsby's very good. I think he's up there in the rankings. Uh, he and I were in the same uh, uh, bracket together. So it's cool to see him again uh, in the game. Very good player. Not someone you see a lot on the videos, um, which is really impressive. Uh, most of the time, the really good players are people who play a lot in the digital ed edition. Bugsby is very new to the digital edition. <clears throat> uh, so the fact that he's doing really well is even more impressive than... Uh, some of the other people. Like, there's people who've played, like, twice as many games as I have, and yeah, they're doing really, really well. And that makes sense. Uh, because part of being good at any game, I will... I'll try to improve for Horse Economy first. I'll wait a little longer to get some more events before I go trading them around. Two Holy Bullets you hate to see, although... Cataloming has a lot of guns. We could maybe trade that around to make it work, but I'm probably going to get rid of all of this anyway, so... Uh... I don't know about that. <clears throat> Not sure the scans are worth it at this point. <clears throat> Man, I don't know why my voice is all... grovelly. Maybe that means that I'm coming down with something, and then I'll win! Apparently the only way I can win this game is when I'm sick. Uh, at least at uh, the finals level. That, uh, that apparently is the dominant strategy for me. I'll lose a gun, and... Oh, I'm gonna lose the garlic. Things that cancel escape is bad are very important early. The garlic is good in 1v1 fights. I think the plan is to use stakes. Vampire Lair. Uh, good to have. It's gonna kind of clog up our hand for a while. Ugh. Wow. That, that is... That's a farmer's hand right there. Yeah, you know, a bunch of garlic horses and steaks is what a farmer's hand is. 
Um, which isn't even necessarily bad. Stakes and horses are good, but in terms of like being able to fight, it is not. I will try to get a... Is it wow? 6, 19? A night supply actually might be in the cards for me, but not when there isn't anything in the third uh, space. Mm. Yeah, I'll trade here. With Mina. Um, I'll give her the sense of emergency, take the excellent weather, and I guess I have to give her something else. I guess I give her, I hate to give her the vampire lair, but um I kinda I, I want I want something on uh Van Helsing, an, an empty slot. Uh we'll reveal the sense of emergency. I feel like that's not so bad. Don't want good tickets on you. At least not this many. Oof. Have we done any white ones? Any glue tickets? I don't think so. Wow. No glue tickets. Back in the day, this would be considered a good hand of tickets. It's fun how much the meta has changed. That's one of the things I like about this game. I talked about that with NATO in uh, of Legendary Tactics in my interview with that, I'm talking about how the meta can change on our game with the same rules, which I think is the design of a good game. When a game has to introduce new content or has to make changes to cards in order for the meta to be constantly changing, like I feel like that's a crutch that, that, to make a game interesting. The really good games, the ones that stand the test of time, are the ones that are good throughout time. Chess has not gone under a, a bunch of balance changes. It has gone under some. There have been occasional rule changes to chess, but what makes it really good or not, it's still fun. You don't have to change the rules. There, there have been suggestions to change the rules in interesting ways, um, but the really good games don't really... Ooh, hypnosis. I may be into that. Yeah, they need to move, though. In fact, I may do that. I may do that now. Yeah, I do not want to supply with, um, Godalming. Mm. I'll, I'll keep a garlic. Keep a garlic. Okay, we'll move this around. I'm basically going to almost completely swap their hands here. Because you want bad cards on Godalming. Uh, I'm only going to give one Heavenly Host, though. Uh, because he can, since he draws more cards, he can get through them faster. And I'll do this. Uh, that's efficient as well. Mm, do I scan here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Means there's what, 17 out of 60? That's pretty good odds. Yeah, I'll risk that. Or warn it. Okay, I'm gonna start trading for that hypnosis. I'll take the hypnosis, I'll give you consecrated ground. Um. Yeah. I like that. And I guess we might as well scan. Is it in Austria Hungria? Is it Austria Hungria or Austria Hungary? I think it says Austria Hungria. It it doesn't really matter. The the region names are not nation specific. Austria Hungary is the most nation specific. But it's usually always Regional, Italia, Gallia, Iberia, you know, because it includes Portugal. Most of the time it includes other nations, so they kind of would get in trouble if they say, oh yes, this is part of France, or this is part of the UK. There are people who would be very upset to have you say that, uh, you know, they're part of that nation. So it's, it's, a, it's a regional thing. Um, let's keep going. I may do the hypnosis, although... 
tempted not to. Money trail. Really good to get. Of course, we won't be doing it yet. Oh, I like all my current stuff over that. Speedy Telegraph. Good events. Good events all around. I would like to get rid of that. Those bullets, as nice as it can be to have them with a gun. I'd rather have the gun. And I will reveal the horse. Long night, not good. But what are you going to do? Wow, no events on him. My goodness. We really need to get those glue tickets. There's one. And there's the other. Okay, and we can trade those. I think I'll actually trade both of those to Mina, since she has a horse. Um, yeah, you have Consecrated Ground. Okay. And... Uh, I really hate to use Hypnosis early, and I don't know if I will use it early. Um, but I will trade it, because it's a thing that needs to happen. And I'll grab the Vampire Lair back. Good to have that on Stan Velsing. Um, yeah cool with that. And you need to really trade. Yeah, I can't do hypnosis yet. I gotta get those glue tickets out of Godalming's hand. And I will do this. I want to be able to cancel Fangs as Mina. It is, of course, annoying that she doesn't have um, the ability to use a rail ticket. Uh, and sense of emergency on somebody with the horses. Not exactly efficient, but it is not the worst. Ah, an early wolf form. Now maybe I will do hypnosis. And maybe I just let these mature. Um, sometimes you just let gotta let something mature. But you will supply. Ooh. Okay. Excellent weather. You will supply. Um. Uh. This is a rough choice. I'm gonna. The problem is both of these are discardables. I'm going to lose the Holy Circle. Newspaper reports. Okay. Uh, let's use this immediately. Geneva. Okay. Let's just check. Alright. I'm going to move now. I don't give myself good odds of catching this, but I don't really want to risk a horse because I don't have all the glue tickets. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Geneva to here. Did you just... Did you just wolf form to here? Did you, did you just wolf form to 59? I'm tempted to do a... Hypnosis. I think I just let this mature. I have Vampire Lair, so... Um... Yeah. I think maybe I do hyp Now the question is do I do hypnosis now? Hmm. I'm going to be doing night supplies. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 16 out of 53. The odds are so good. Yeah, I'm going to do this. And then I think I'm going to Hypnosis. I'm going to let this mature. Sometimes you just have to let a vampire mature. My goodness. 
Uh, you're going to try to improve horse economy. Come on. Do I supply? No, he's got... He's, he's full up. What I really don't want is a hoax. That would be... That would be quite bad. You have to pass. And I will... Do I hypnosis? I have money trail, actually. So I'm actually going to use hypnosis. Aha! He's in 48 or 4. Okay. Which means this is probably somewhere up here. So it probably won't get to it. Although it could be 29. But that's... That seems unlikely. Okay, I might get into 1v1 with Seward. Problem is, Seward doesn't really have a lot. I'm not going to use Speedy Telegraph, and I'm not going to use Long Night. I'm going to rail. There's a chance he started down here. And it improves our horse economy. Okay. Consecrated Ground is good. Um, I'll be okay in a fight. I think you went to the sea. So this was in Iberia. Oh, right, she can't move. Okay, so he'll get his seven points. Um, I'm gonna try to dig for that last ticket. I guess I should have got rid of the other one. Um, I hate to do this on you, but... Well, I am. Okay, and you are going to hold on to those. So I'm going to pass. He'll get his seven points. Which I'm okay with. I know where he is. I can do Vampire Lair. Unless it's a hoax. Hoax would be pretty bad. Um... But I'll be in a little bit more, a little bit better of a position to take care of the next thing. Okay, he's going to the ocean now. Okay, so he's probably in four. Alright, let's see that vamp. Oh, only six points. To lose. Oh, he went back over on himself. Fascinating. Uh, no reason to play Speedy Telegraph. In fact, um, I think Van Helsing's going to do uh, Vampire Lair. And you are actually going to chill. Yeah. I'll lose both of those things. You are going to need to move. Burn this. Aha! Okay, I have a stake. We can deal with this. That means we'll get him down to four points. Not bad. Not a bad start. He got himself some points, which is good for him. Sometimes that happens as Dracula. Um, oh no, two vampires. So that means I'm going to have to do three vampire fights, which is annoying, but it's fine. I can, I'm not in a rush to kill the second vampire, so I can just kind of chill for a while and then kill it, um, which is fine. Alright, 
standard situation now. Now I'm wishing I had that holy circle, but such is how it goes. Uh, yeah. I'll do standard evacuation protocols. Okay, we're into week two, which is a little late, but we have a lot of cards that can help us. And that is why you punch! I'll try the escape again. Pretty standard. Next vampire. Ooh, okay. I'm actually going to go with the crucifix on this one. Because either he's going to mesmerize me to try to stop me, or he's going to uh, fang me to try to get a point. And so the crucifix will protect from both of those. If he does a strength. Wow. Okay. All right. You did a strength. Um, or claws. Same. Claws is more likely if of the other two. What he's would be likely to do. Yeah. Claws is what you want to do. So we'll take a little more damage than we wanted to. Um, but again, it's not really a problem. Uh. We'll try the escape now. I'll probably mesmerize here. Or bite. One of those two. That This is showing how often it's better to just do the correct move. All right. I'll get a point out of it, and I'll take two more damage than I should have. So yeah, I should have ran away, tried to overthink it. Um, that's, uh, that's sometimes how it goes. So he'll be at uh, five points, but that's okay. I will go ahead and Vampire Lair now. And you can chill. Thing is, he could go this way, so yeah. Supply up. Don't need the dogs. But I do want to get rid of Dracula events. Wow. Look at all those Dracula events we're getting rid of. At this point, stakes are a little less necessary. You need to heal. And you will pass. That is one of the disadvantages of having two white ones on a character like this. Who has money trail? You have it, right? Yeah. Do I waste the speedy telegraph to have him use it in the day? I actually kind of like that because he's a little out of position. Next turn, he's going to heal and then stake the... Uh, well, actually, he could just stake the Reckless now. That's like, That may be the better move, yeah. The, the uh, fight with the new vampire. If it happens at night, be kind of bad. Alternatively, I could supply and heal and then do it next, next turn. Problem with that is that he may need to do money trail stuff. And it'd be better for him to supply after he uses the stake. 
Yeah, we're definitely in night supply territory for a couple reasons. One, ton of Dracula events in the discard pile. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's 13 of 50. Really, 12 of 49. That's a 1 in 4. I'm now on a 1 in 4 chance of getting a Dracula event. But, in addition to that, I have good luck. So a lot of those Dracula events are neutered. So the stats are even better. If it's the roadblock, effectively neutered. If it's f a false tip, technically neutered. Um, and that's five. So of the 12 remaining, seven are actually bad. And some of those are not even that bad, like sensationalist press or seduction. So we're definitely in a situation where night supplying is very much how things go. And that's how the game goes, and that's one of the reasons the replayability on this game is so high. Because sometimes you need to uh, night supply, because that's how the deck happens. Ooh. I don't think you are going to be thinking that is a good move, because um, I can excellent weather. But the question is, do I want to? And the answer is not yet. I will supply, and I'll discard both of those. You will stake now. Yeah, let's stake now. And I will use this, and we'll kill the. You want to have? If you want to encounter the reckless first, because he's the one on the encounter, so he'll die. But the the uh, new the uh, new vampire will not. I will have to have an actual fight with her. That's how stakes work. I think if you have two stakes, you can stack that and uh, do it that way. I will try normal escape uh, routines. Him doing five damage. Ah, oh, man, I don't see how. All right, two damage it is, and then I'll heal. And we don't have to worry about this new vampire because, again, cards on hide do not mature. She was simply a pawn of the Reckless Vampire. And that is three vampires down. Both new vampires down, which is good. Um, you need to get to a big city. Um, I'm actually going to send you here because there is a chance you're in Marseille. And in the event that he is... I was going to say I pull Godalming in, but I forgot that it wasn't his turn yet. Um, you are still going to chill... Yeah, because he's going east at this point. And that is not going to be changed. Ooh, wax cylinders. Yeah, that's worth trading around. We'll continue this fool's errand of getting this to work. Aha! Okay. You need to heal. And you will go ahead and trade with Mina. All right, things are going well, I would say. Wax cylinders. I certainly have been given the tools with which to win. Uh, and I'll give Speedy Telegraph because she can lose Long Night. And yeah, though I suppose it would be better technically to play Long Night in the event that I want to use it for some reason. I mean, I, d I won't want to, but yeah. Let's see, do I just have you pass? Yeah. Oh, you know what I think might make Long Night better? If it also included ocean travel. I think it would be used more in that event. Okay. Um, I guess it's better to play it than to not. Because she's going to be supplying. Yeah.
Now, it may be that there's a Dracula event there. Uh, I think I do now start moving. Um, well, hold on, let me think about this. Do you have... No, you need to supply... You need to supply... Ah, yeah, this is... This is a little suboptimal. Because we obviously have to deal with this. Wow. Look at all these Dracula events. And you're gonna supply... Doggos. Renewed Vigor. <laughs> Very nice. I guess I shouldn't do the evil laugh since I'm playing as the good guys, but you know... The laugh isn't technically evil. I'm going to trade. There's an entire rant in the Dracula book on the power of laughter. I will take forewarned. It's a good thing to be holding on to. And he's kind of out of position. As much as it could be fun to move, I'm going to pass. This doesn't have anything on it, right? Yeah, okay. What did you pick up? Hmm, that's pretty good. Okay, he hasn't wolf formed yet. So, I need to think here for a second. If he lands, I'll need to be able to scan in one turn. Which I can do with Van Helsing. Are you equipped enough to take out a, a vampire? Mm, you have a lot of important cards on you. However, that is fast. Oh, I hate to do it this way. But I will. Yeah, he has he's the stake. He should be the one to take care of this. Um, so he's currently here. It's better to go by land. So I will do so. Because I can heal when I go by land. And I'm going to have you also supply two garlics. While very strong, I think one will be enough. Planned ambush. Very nice. You have speedy telegraph, which would be annoying to lose, but there are better events. And maybe I draw like an ally or something. Local rumors, not helpful. Alright, let's see what you got. Probably a fog or something, if I were to guess. Yeah, okay. So he'll be stuck there. He has the excellent weather to get out faster, which is nice. Um, well, you need to heal, so you might as well heal. And you should trade around some of your stuff. Like, you should trade the forewarned... Well, no. Yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll trade the forewarned. Um, and you're gonna pass. So we have renewed vigor. We have consecrated ground. He has five points, but I mean, Dracula's tend to get points. A, a perfect games. Unless you get really lucky, it just don't happen. I, in this entire tournament, I've had one perfect hunter game. And at finals? Oh boy, I don't expect... Yeah, but... Uh, you have to play perfectly, and the deck is in your favor, and you get lucky. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six,
12, 13. So three moves. He, he'll have to make uh, three land moves to win. When, when we get full despair. No Rufus Smith, which is unfortunate, but, you know, you don't always get what you want. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, there are 10. It's greater than a 1 in 4 chance. The greater than a 75% chance that we get Hunter cards when we Night Supply. So we Night Supply him. Ocean, huh? Okay. Well, this is really good for us. Um, you'll grab an event. Hired Scouts is not good for us. Um... I think a single, well, let's, um, gonna make a single move. And I still wanna, well, the thing is, this move is inherently closer. And uh, she's full up, so this is a good time to draw from that deck. My goodness. Whew, man. It's just going to be night supplies for days. Uh, no reason to trade, so we will pass. Tempting as it could be to night supply, like, I'm not going to night supply in that circumstance. Uh, no reason to use wax cylinders or consecrated ground. We'll grab a ticket. And you actually need a ticket. Well, it improves horse economy, so can't complain. Do we have all three horses? Well, of course, we went through the whole deck. You have the other horses, right? Right, yeah. Um, so we will pass. Probably should trade with Mina at some point. Um... The excellent leather to the Ionian, I think, will be good. I think I send Van Helsing to Venice. Because then he can excellent weather to 55. Maybe he went to f 20, but, like, surely he didn't. I suppose I can use the money trail. I think I might, because I don't think he'll go to sea again. Although the problem is, if he goes to sea again, I'm in huge trouble because I don't have hypnosis. Oh, he's landed here. Oh, well then that answers the question for me. Do I need to use Renewed Vigor? I will not. You don't want to use Renewed Vigor unless you can really get onto Dracula's space. So you get to chill again. And you get to... Horse. Yeah. Who has forewarned? I think, um, you do. Ugh. Okay, that's not what I want. Oh, but he could trade for the forewarned, and then with the speedy telegraph, he goes to 55. Yeah, I like that idea. Um, I kind of have to go here. Yeah, because now I can threaten his actual location. So he'll trade for forewarned. And from here, with renewed vigor, he can land and do horses. Ooh. 
Ooh, I like that. Uh, so yeah, you'll pass. You will... Do I do wax cylinders here? Just to see what this is. No, I'm going to land there anyway. Um, do I do consecrated ground? Ooh. Do I force him back to sea with consecrated ground? Oh, that could be fun. You take... Ooh. And then with the other move, we do... Um... Ooh. Wait, that may be the play. Let's see. One, two... Do I have all three? I do have all three. So I can put the normal one here... And then I put the other three here. He takes five damage, clears his trail, which doesn't really help him. Then he goes back to C, and then he moves. And then I hit him with the money trail. Ooh. ooh. That could be good. Let's see. That'll do seven, eight. So he'd be at four. Or do I let him move and try to catch him next turn. I think we let him move and try to... I, 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 I like this better. I feel like I have him here. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to just grab a ticket. Yeah. It, it, when he's out, the problem with this is he'll go here and then he'll wolf form. And yeah, he'll be at low at health, but then he could be at a ton of places. And I don't want to have to deal with that. So I'm going to trade for the Forewarned. Uh, yeah, give me the Forewarned. You can hold on to... Yeah, I need I need the excellent weather. I need all this. And you... Yeah, okay. We'll do the renew. We'll do speedy telegraph and renewed vigor, which are the really good things that you want to do. Now, oh, he could wolf form from here, which would be a pretty good move. He wouldn't be able to get to him. He could trade for... Sense of Emergency, I guess? Oh, he did a normal move. Oh, he's going to regret that. Alright, we will do Speedy Telegraph and Renewed Vigor. Okay. So, first... Well, this, this I kind of need to get out of the way first. Um... Just a research. That's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and do the excellent weather. Now, normal because the game immediately ends when you do excellent weather. You should be able to excellent weather and then do a normal move. But when you end your move in an ocean space, you can't, uh, which is annoying. So I'm gonna excellent weather to 55. I have the forewarned. Wait, do I think he hid? In the event that he did... No, no, he's here. Okay. Hit me. Did not. But the Forewarn still activates because of how this game works. So we'll do this. Ooh. And fortunately, we can do the regular move. All right. And I will supply before moving in. Okay, well. Not every card is good. That just be how the game be. Let me guess. A mob, maybe. Wolves. Mmm. I'll take that. Yeah. 
I have enough weapons. I am okay with revealing this. I'll say, I, I want to save it for the fog. Yeah, it's it's only a, 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 it's five damage, which quite good. Um, but given how many guys I have, I don't really, I, I don't care. Um, he knows who has Heavenly Host, so he's probably gonna go for a Fang attack on somebody. Uh. I guess I'll play Planned Ambush. It's it's really, you don't get a lot of value out of this, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, Dr. Seward, he's going to assume that you were using your fang, so we'll go knife here. Stan Velsing, we'll go with a punch in the event that he tries to mesmerize. Mina, stick with the knife. I think, uh, yeah. We might lose Mina here. That is a decent possibility. So the, the the advantage that he gets from using the wolves is he has a lot of information on what we have. He knows who has Heavenly Host. He knows all of my weapons. So that's most of what he knows. He doesn't know about the garlics, but garlics aren't good in team fights. Um, but yeah, I don't think we use the Heavenly Host because I think we consecrate a ground and try to trap him here. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to do, if I could look at the map. Do you want to run over to my book, a copy of the board, and then check to see what's connected? Uh, I don't know about that. Um, I think I think I can do a good uh, four uh, stop. I, I, like, I can't, I don't think I can force him. I can't checkmate him. But I think I can force him to uh, move to a location that I would know. Okay, he's, he's probably trying to remember or keep track of, okay, who has what? Uh, who had Heavenly Host? Which I wish the game was better about telling. This is this person's hand they're showing. You have to look in the bottom left to see the portrait. Um, so he's like, what would he play? And now he's ha and, and the other thing he's having to do is he's having to play several turns ahead, which is how you do the combat in this. Like, what am I going to play this round? What am I going to play next round? Can I escape his bat on round three? Which is my escape plan. That's the only way I have to win. Um, can I break their things that cancel escape his bat? And if so, will they be able to do enough damage to me that I die before I can escape? These are the things that Dracula is having to think through, and these are the things that you generally have to think through. Now, usually there's more guesswork involved, but because he has so much knowledge as to the contents of our hand, he doesn't have a lot of guesswork. Like, he's... Okay. Let's see what he's doing. I would guess claws? Yes. Um, yeah, so his plan is, okay, I can't block the damage. Let me try to get a kill. And maybe that'll get me some value. Um... Which, yeah, there's a lot of truth in that. Um, I'm going to do a lot of damage here, though. Um, use plan damage to use a different combat card. Yes. Okay. In fact, I think we're doing three knives on him. Which... Does that guarantee death? If it doesn't, it gets real close. Yeah, I think I just go for it here. I think even if he bites, I can still get the win. Um, yeah. I think I have enough things that can cancel escape his bat that I don't think he can... Because uh... he, he can kill one of them, that gets him to five, but four plus two is six, which is more than five. So he could get... Could, the best result would actually be him biting Seward. Um, because then he wouldn't kill me. If he bites Mina, he gets three points, which, hey, you got eight points, that's good. Um, yeah. 
I think him going to Cagliari was maybe a mistake. So I think he dies here, right? Ooh, that was the guy who did not have Heavenly Host. Ah, I wish the game was better about keeping the notes. Yeah, it was it was worth a shot. But that's gonna be a GG for me. Finally, a win. And, uh, yeah, that's that. I think... What, uh, no. Oh, I, he, uh, left a little early, I think. Um, I guess. And, yeah, yeah, he left soon. Didn't even get a chance to say GG. Um, yeah, I think maybe the Cagliari move was a mistake. Uh, if he had stayed at C... See, the problem with the immediate Cagliari move is that I didn't have to use my money trail, I didn't have to use my tools, I knew where he was. Um, and the fog, I think... I think he maybe thought the fog would slow him down more. I think what he was expecting me to do is when he went to Cagliari, me to immediately use my excellent weather to go to Cagliari, and then he trapped me in fog. Um, which could have been actually a good move, especially if I did it with a bunch of hunters. Um... Although, I still had forewarned. Um, I don't know. It's hard. It's it's really hard to be like, oh, the Dracula player should have done this, he should have done that, because I don't know what ha cards he had in his hand. I don't know where he was. I don't know really, for the most part, what encounters he put down. Um, so, it's really hard to t critique the other uh, player, um, especially for one as good as Bugsby is. He's really good at the game. He's really highly ranked. I think he's higher ranked than I am. But hopefully I, this will do some, hopefully this will do some towards rectifying that. As if such a statement could be said. Well, um, this probably has come out around New Year's, so Happy New Year, and Godspeed.